Well, six campuses of Northeastern Minnesota's community colleges have been united under one name and one vision. Minnesota North College will offer a seamless experience to students who can take classes offered on any of the campuses while receiving a single transcript and bill. And so, joining us now to explain more about the college merger is Mike Ryich. Mike, of course, president of the Minnesota North College. And Mike, thank you for being here. Welcome. What was the reasons for the merger? Sure. Uh, we, we kind of put the reasons in two buckets. One, one is just simply the state of, of higher education across the country. Uh, the demographics of our region and of the state uh, are a little bit troubling for higher ed, and so enrollment tends to uh, suffer a bit. Uh, and so we're seeing uh, declining enrollment, which of course means less resources for the colleges. So we need to work a little smarter, a little more efficiently and, 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 and together. Uh, but the, the real reason is uh, by working together and leveraging the power of a larger organization, we can definitely serve students better. You mentioned a seamless experience for right. students, and, and that's, that's a big part of it. Students can take courses from different campuses uh, under one transcript. There, there are many more offerings that, that used to be siloed at a single campus that now are, are offered across multiple campuses. And so it's really about uh, a better experience for the students mm -hmm and a better experience for our community partners who can now look at us as one organization instead of five separate organizations. Mm -hmm. This has been a long process moving in this direction and you've been part of it for a long time. For people who are not really familiar with what the goal was, talk about the, the campuses that are actually now part of Minnesota North. Sure. So we used to be five independently accredited mm -hmm. colleges with six campuses mm -hmm. because one of our college has two campuses. Um, what we've done is taken and put that all together as a singly accredited college, but we kept all of our campuses open. So those campuses, uh, if you start in the north, are in International Falls, that's our Rainy River campus, and Ely is our Vermilion campus. We have the Eveleth and Virginia campuses that make up Masaba Range, and then we have Hibbing and Itasca. So a, a broad swath of, of beautiful country, and we like to say we cover an area about the size of Maryland uh, well, with what we do. Does the merger affect the marketability of the school? We, we think it really improves the marketability because we can market the whole region now. Uh, we came up with the tagline of Head North, Head North and Minnesota North College, Head being a cerebral thing sure, for higher ed, and, sure. and everybody loves to head north. If you're ever in the cities, what do people do every weekend? They head north. They head north. And so we, we thought that would be an appropriate tagline to bring people to our beautiful region. Every one of these campuses has a, a long tradition as an individual college. Um, what's being done to preserve those those community identities? Because people feel really <coughs> strongly about the schools yeah, and it, the teams. Yeah, and you, you hit it on the head there. And what we kept was just as important as what we changed. Mm -hmm. and, and so one of the original tenets of, of merger was we keep community connections alive, we keep campus identities alive through niche programming, through keeping our foundations at, at the community level, and, and by keeping our athletic programs. We were able to keep five separate uh, uh, athletic programs and, and we'll be com competing among one, one another, but uh, it, was, it was a key to the merger is to recognize that these places are important to the community and, and we, we preserved as much of that as we could. How might these campuses differ from one another? You know, they, they differ by programming. We did a, always a good job of not duplicating a lot of programming because we just couldn't afford to. And so they, they, they differ mainly by programming, but what they don't differ uh, in is their commitment to students. We have, uh, I just traveled all the campuses and spoke at them this week with our faculty back, and just optimism and, and care for people is, and kindness. Sure. We, we stress kindness. You, you'd know that, Denny. Yes. Uh, <laughs> be kind. But um, it, that, that's what they have in common. Mm -hmm. Businesses and industries across the country are looking for workers right now. Is there an advantage um, being a uh, a school that really focuses on two-year career programs? There, there is an advantage. There, there's a desperate need for skilled workers mm -hmm. uh, all across uh, every part of the economy, and so that is where we come in. The disadvantage of that is uh, when, when the economy is so strong, uh, people sometimes tend to go straight to work and, and not seek higher education. Uh, because they can, and, and the, I, we always see the problem with that is then if the, when the economy does turn down, uh, we have uh, folks that th then will come back. And, Speaking and of the later. economy, what kind of financial aid might be available for students? Yeah, uh, two-year colleges are affordable, and, and financial aid is available. Between the, the federal Pell Grant, the state Pell Grant, 
uh, the loans that are available, and the scholarships. We have five foundations supporting our students. So uh, we don't like to get lumped in with the bigger schools that mm -hmm. are much more expensive. Students can't afford to come to a two-year college with the support we offer. Mm -hmm. And will the faculty be staying the same at all of the campuses? For the very most part. Uh, the, the, it, we're so far apart, it's hard to <laughs> have them travel but when we hire new faculty now uh, we do uh, have them understand there possibly may be some travel among some of the closer campuses. Mm -hmm. How are local businesses involved in kind of getting those, those niche programs that you talked about uh, set up at each of one of the yeah, campuses? Yeah, they, uh, you know, and it, it's based on geography, so mm -hmm. our mining programs tend to be Eveleth and Hibbing, right? And our, our environmental programs tend to be up in Ely. And so our businesses are located in those regions and they help our colleges by serving on our advisory boards and letting us know what type of programming they need. Is there any indication enrollment might be up at these five campuses? Not this year. Uh, it, we're still a little post-COVID uh, lagging, but uh, you know, and with the economy strong, but uh, we're, we're taking a whole new approach to enrollment management and to recruiting and marketing, and uh, we're looking forward to next year and, and seeing what that will bring. All right, Michael Ryich, the president of the new Minnesota North College. Thank you, Michael, for Thank being you. here. Appreciate Thank you. It. Thank you.